right, Libra, it is your card that came out. And oh, so we are going to try this new thing. Um, we're going to do the moonlight reading, but I'm literally going to start the moon, light the moon up. And for as long as it's on, until it cuts off, I don't know how long it is, how, but it does always tend to cut off in most of my readings. See what spirit wants to illuminate to you. You'll be the first one I do this for, so we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. And for Libra spirit, please, for Libra. Treat her as if she is both gold and glass. Poor Libra, please, Spirit. She will not betray you. She will honor every bit of you. She will not condemn you for things you aren't blameworthy of. To let the bad you've tasted take this truth away from you is to be deceived. Okay, so this is someone who is afraid that someone may betray them. Or accuse them of doing something that they weren't doing. Those are men who find reasons to call their woman beautiful daily. Those are men who prefer to be slaves to love rather than to be the master than to live as masters of lust. The beautiful words swim out of his crooked teeth are not the words of a crook. They do not come from a crooked heart. They, they are perfect words floating their way out of the mouth of, an Im of the imperfect. They are words of a sinner with a pure heart and good intentions. Okay, so this is somebody who Spirit is saying, treat somebody right. And then, but they are afraid that if they do, they're going to still be accused of doing wrong by this person. So, in other words, they want you to treat this person like gold, like they are super valuable. But remember that they can break easily. So when you speak your truth, make sure you speak your truth, that you tell the full truth, you know, um, to make sure you come honorably so that, you know, good karma will fall upon you and not bad. So just speak the truth, no matter what it is. I don't care if it's saying, um, I love you. I don't care if it's saying, I just want to be friends. I don't care if it's saying, I just want to be friends with benefits. A storm was coming, but that's not what she felt. It was adventure on the wind, and it shivered down her spine. Okay, so... Oh, Jesus, revenge. Two wrongs don't make a right, but they sure do make it even. Okay, Jesus, are you dealing with the Scorpio, Libra? <laughs> you got someone who's going to come back, right? Hopefully you've told this person that could break the truth. You've got someone who's going to come back into your energy and try to get revenge on you, on your person. And it's going to, it's probably going to hurt this other person, um, the one that you love. So make sure, make sure that you have told the truth judgment okay there's going to be a judgment that's going to fall upon this divine masculine and the, and what's going to fall upon the divine masculine is that they're going to lose their person they will lose this person if they lie libra tell the truth be honest and don't worry if they believe you You've got the Divine Feminine that shows up on the bottom of the deck. And look, she's looking. She is, she's watching. She's looking to see what you're doing. She may already know when, and I'm going to tell you right now, if this is a Libra masculine, if a feminine asks you a question, 
with this pull right here, if a female asks you a question, you answer honestly, even if it's going to hurt you. Because you've probably fucked up and they probably already know. They are giving, probably giving you the chance to tell the truth. To see if you are still an honorable person or if you're going to lie and they're not going to trust you again. This, if you have... You've got a divine soulmate that shows up here. There may be a fight in between. I don't know if this is a divine soulmate that is for the masculine or that is for the feminine. But if there is one in, in here, there's going to be a fight. The woman with dark hair is going to get pissed at the woman with blonde hair again. Weaver, what is going on? This is the second time this card has been pulled. Okay, someone... Someone was trying to take, somebody was trying to take the divine masculine or the divine feminine from their counterpart. I don't know if they were lying about things. Um, I don't know if they were trying to do black magic. It doesn't have to be. You could just try to like uh, influence everything to go into your um, to your path or try to confuse the masculine by distorting him let's see what else anything else here spirit this is someone who wants to take someone off their path off their right path maybe they are doing this because of revenge. They feel like something got taken from them, so they're going to try to take something from someone else. Assistance would make your progress a success. So in other words, if you're listening, if someone's trying to help you, you need to listen. Let your love flow where beautiful things are, and something beautiful will always come your way. Okay, so follow your heart and not... And not the lust, okay? A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are going to be crazy, all right? You might piss off a lot of people. A lot of people might turn crazy. But this is spirit telling you right now your purpose is to help as many people as you can. And ride a situation out. Take control and ride a situation out. Don't. But do not. Okay. Maybe you are supposed to ride. Maybe the. Maybe you're supposed to be intimate with the female with dark hair. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Because this woman with dark hair is saying. They're not trusting you. They feel like they only know half of the story. They feel like you're, you're hiding something or you're doing something behind their back that they don't know. And you're afraid if you come to them and tell them the truth that they're not going to believe you. But Spirit is saying, be honest. I don't care what the truth is. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. See, it says, the phoenix is both the spark that ignites creation and the final fire that consumes it. Okay? So, you do not want to be consumed by the fire. You do not want to be consumed by lust. You do not want to be consumed by things of the 3D. Um, because... Um, this could be your test. A lot of times you are always tested by the divine before a big blessing. This is something about they didn't... Okay. 
there's going to be death and a rebirth. They feel like someone's going to be not sure what to do because they feel like someone else didn't see what was going on. Um, and so they don't know whether they should tell the truth or not, but literally like someone's, someone will end up wanting to be like, what? I don't know what you're talking about, you know, and playing it off. Like I didn't know that. Or my niece was real little. Um, she hurt my nephew. I think she pinched him and we asked her, did you do that? And she said, her response when she was like four, you didn't see me. That's kind of like what it is. You didn't see me. So why do I have to, why do I, why am I going to tell on myself? This is kind of what this person's saying, but Spirit's telling you, if this is a test from the divine, this is not, you don't have to worry about the person in question that you're telling the truth to. You have to worry about Spirit. You have to worry about spirit giving you the blessings that were meant for you. If you're going to be honest or if you're not. This is telling you acting. It says acting so bad. You make it acting so bad. You make everyone look bad. It's kind of like, you know how people would say back in the old days, you know, don't, don't ruin your name. Like your, like your bloodline. It's like you screw up so bad. It mess, it messes with how everybody views your whole family. Okay. Going out on a date, enjoying time together. I loved her. I loved her most for all things she hated about herself for that is what made her different. And it was the different that I loved. Okay, so maybe you're seeing a different side of someone. Um, and this side, you know, is something you don't see in, in most people. Maybe they're an old soul and this world is filled the way that it is now with people that just don't really care or they're just following a pattern or trying to be exactly alike. This person. This person can connect to their twin. And when they connect to their twin, it hurts them. It makes them sad. It brings them pain. Um, and the other person will think, you know, that they're hurt or that they damaged or they got attacked, but she's literally saying not quite. I tried to make, um, telepathic contact with the source of that, but all I felt was pain. And it's kind of like, if you are dating someone who is a twin flame and you know that they are a twin flame. They will still always feel their person in this 3D. They will feel their pain. They will feel their happiness. They will feel their joy, you know, and it's kind it's because of Einstein's theory of, um, spooky action at a distance. What affects one is going to affect the other. So when this twin taps into the energy, of their twin, it's going to affect them and it's going to either bring them down, make them happy. You know, if your person just randomly gets turned on all the time, it's a sign that it, and it's not normal for them. It's a sign, you know, they're going to be weird, but a twin is always going to an awakened twin is going to be someone who will do right. by you so you don't have to worry about being hurt because if it's an awakened divine feminine or an awakened divine masculine they know their purpose they know what they were supposed to do and hopefully your person has not passed on okay all you have to do is remember remember to make someone feel understood remember to make someone feel accepted and above all remember 
to make someone feel real. So this is, you know, um, the black and white, the yin, yin, yang. Uh, this is someone who's not going to act like everybody else because they're going to have a connection to a source that's different than everybody else. Not everybody is a twin flame. Not everybody has a twin flame. There's going to be 144,000 of them in the world. Um, and it, you can even read it in the Bible. It's how many, you know, legions of... We won't get into that right now because you only got so long. But um, this is someone who is needing to feel accepted for exactly who they are when they're with you. Whoever this is. This is someone who needs you to see them. Who needs you to not just see them... And not just hear them, but to actually understand and to comprehend what they are saying. And to actually feel important. And I know that we should never, ever base a relationship or anything like that on our, how someone makes us feel. But this is spirit saying to you. They want to watch They want you to watch how you make someone feel and see if they by any chance go into depression or if they get sad or if they just don't feel good enough or if it's one of the other things. I just heard five languages. So this is the five languages. Make sure that you're making your person feel seen, loved, heard through their love language. Find out what their love language is. There's five of them. If you don't know this theory, I'm going to tell you really quick as fast as I can. There's five love languages. Okay, so there's touch, quality time, words of assurance, gifts, and acts of service. Okay, we all have a love language. Some of us like to be touched, sex, you know, things like that. Some of us like to be told, good job, you're doing great, I'm proud of you, I love you, you're beautiful. Some of us want to um, feel loved by receiving gifts. A lot of times that has to do with not receiving anything or having anything when you were a child. Um, quality time, quality time is just, you know, spending time with them. And it's not, it's not spending time with them being on your phone the whole time. It's spending quality time together and actually doing something where you focus on each other and then acts of service. It's anything that can take a load off of someone, whether it's like doing the dishes, doing the laundry, helping them with the children, you know, anything like that. That's our five love languages. And we all have one and we all give love and we all receive love differently. So you need to find your person's love language because, and if it's this person here, it, they're saying they're not going to receive love in the way that you've been used to giving it. It's going to be different. Make sure you know their love language and make sure you're on the same, the same, um, mindset and path and track so that you don't have to go back and defend yourself or feel like, you know, something's out of whack. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be someone who is, these are all upright plus spirit. Um, this is someone who's looking back over the past. Could be within a marriage um, and happiness, you know, and them feeling like they needed to improve themselves to find self-love and someone is trying to manifest this again manifesting okay so they're trying to manifest because they feel like there's been all of these like nightmares or all these problems that have came on and you know the plans that were supposed to happen fell apartment fell apart um because this was the only thing that they, they feel like that's the only thing that they can do. They will feel like they, maybe you guys have been feeling weighed down together. Maybe they feel like, you know, there's no other options. Maybe I, I we're married. I can't be with nobody else or, or they feel like someone feels like, this person is like, this is how it's going to be. You don't get a say. And it, it, it's stressing this person out. Libra. 
if you are married to someone, make sure whatever it is that you are doing, your person's actually okay with it. Make sure it's not, hey, I have to let them do this because we're married and there's no other choice because this person's like, I'm going to do everything that, you know, I want to do and we are going to do everything that I want to do and you don't have a choice about it. I don't know what the situation is or why it is the way that it is, but this is literally spirit saying one person is like, this is how it's going to be final. That's final. You, you don't get to say this is how I'm going to be and make, talk to your person to see if that's how they feel because sometimes we say things and what we say is not what the other person hears. And I'm going to say it like this. I want you to go to your person. If you have a person and you're having problems, tell them how you feel and then ask them what they just heard. I know that sounds really stupid, but a lot of times when you ask someone what they just heard within the words that you said can be completely off from what it really was, you know, and it could be like, you could say, oh, I love you. And you ask the other person what they heard and they're going to be like, what they heard is you feel like it's a burden to love me. You're only saying this because you have to. Um, so because tone, if it's been in a text and text can always go wrong. I know that's my, like my biggest downfall is text. I will always be taken wrong in a text or, you know, anything, anything that's just written because you can't hear my tone. You can't hear. Sometimes I sound like a bitch in text and I'm not really being a bitch. I'm literally just stating something in a calm manner, unless you like hear me say the F word a million times and the whole thing is caps locked. I'm fine. I might be irritated or I might be confused, but you know, but I get taken wrong a lot, especially in text. So this is make sure, make sure you are listening, not listening just to, not listening just to have an answer, but listening to, to understand, to comprehend because communication is not the most important thing in a relationship. Understanding each other is. You could have a kid. This kid could be younger. could be a female. Page of Pentacles. Young woman up to five years old. Who could be... Could be... Hold on. So we have a kid. What about this? If, they have, if this is a kid and not just dealing with a, a super young person... Okay. Nope. Spirit don't want to say nothing about the kid. They don't want you to know. I guess you'll have to find that out coming soon. Um, all right. Tell me about, let's see, what does spirit need to, what does Libra need to know about this person with dark hair? Whoa. You need to count your blessings. If you don't count your blessing, there's going to be an important end to a new beginning. 1 and 45 break down to 5 and 5 or break down to 4 and 5 is 9. 9 and 1 is 10. So it's a change. It is some, a completion of something. Look, you the, under the deck, you don't see coming. Eclipse Mermaid, which is a 10. So 10, 10 again, a powerful energy shift. So there's going to be a change in the energy in between you two. Okay, so Spirit's saying there's going to, maybe someone's going to go from having a conversation with someone and thinking this is the way it has to go and then having a conversation and realizing that's not the way that it was supposed to be. It was just misunderstood. Something was misunderstood. And so the energy is going to change. The energy can change, you know, if both people change their mind you know, and set the energy and the intentions, right? If there is another person in this, if there is a blonde woman who wants to come back to revenge or male, take it how it resonates. I'm just reading, you know, 
female versions, but the soul has no feminine or, or has no body parts. Okay. A clear solution and release your power. So two and four breaks down to a six, three and three, six breaks down to a six. Okay. So this is all right. So this is telling you, you see a solution with this person and the only solution that you can actually see is to release it and then just have these, you know, because someone's holding on to these memories of this person that has gone on, but you need to release this person and this energy of holding your power on. Maybe, maybe this other person, if you have someone thinks that you think about your ex way too much or someone that you've let go of. Okay, let's see if I have to pull something from the kid. If you've got a kid, it does not have to be, um, it, you know, one of the people here could just be young or immature. Um, if there is a kid, give me what Libra needs to know about the kid. Attempting offer has a high price. What? You could be spending a lot of money on this kid. Maybe they want you to spend a lot of money on them. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Cause look, this is the, the, she's hold. she's like, Hey, can I have some money? Okay. Your kid's going to ask you for money. <laughs> all right. That's all spirit wants you to know. No, on the bottom of the deck. Um, love is strange. All right. Where are we going now? Huh? Okay. All right. What's Libra need to know about their regular life outside of this relationship? Just in general, Libra in general, please spirit. What we got left upright. Okay. So you've got something you need to embrace your head and your heart. You are being awakened to something. Maybe you're learning something new. Uh, yeah, your third eye chakra. So you're seeing things in a new light and they, they need you to embrace this new light because this is what's going to help you heal. There's, you've got the six, six again, the third time six, which is right above the six, six that breaks down here. So six, 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 which it doesn't mean bad. Sixes are usually like victory. Like the six of wands is victory over something, victory over celebration. Okay. You need to make sure that you are able to speak. Make sure you are speaking your truth. Do not refuse to see what it is and make sure you are not stopping yourself from reaching out to this person. Whew. And you need to make sure to get yourself in I was going to say alignment, but then balance literally fell out right here. Okay. And make sure, make sure that when you give, you're giving to someone who is going to give to you in return equally an equal give and take because Libra, you're probably giving more than you are supposed to give and you're out of balance. You're out of balance. You know, it, the, even the Bible says, you know, you must come your relationship must be equal yoked. You know, if it's not equal yoked, it'll fall apart because when one of the energies moves to the next, um, the next phase of life, what the ones that are not equally balanced will fall off 29, 29 on the clock, which breaks down to 11, 11, um, possible twin flame. Um, Pay attention to your dreams. Is that just flipped over? All right. Show me what else. All right. Nope. There you go. That's all the moon wanted to illuminate to you. Uh, Libra. I hope this helped. Um, just make sure you are speaking your truth and make sure you're not holding back and make sure you do not lie. Okay. Because look at this couple. This couple looks pretty happy. All right. So keep it that way. Make sure you're constantly growing with your person. Don't ever hold back. All right. And on that note, oh yeah, because if you do, you have a well-deserved reward. All right. So if this is a test, make sure you pass it, Libra. Um, 
Hope this helped. If you like this reading, please hit a like and subscribe down below and you'll cut and catch me on the next video. Um, if this one here does not resonate, does you do not feel like it resonates, not like it, if it triggers you and you're like, that's not my reading, it's your reading. Now, if it just doesn't feel like it fits, like a peaceful feeling like it doesn't fit, please check your, um, your moon, your rising, your Venus and your North node. Cause your North node, you could be standing in your North node power, which is where you are supposed to be. When you're in full alignment with your path of where you're supposed to be, you will align more with your North node. Like I'm a Virgo, but when I am standing in my full power, I align more. When I am in the path of love, that's your Venus. Check your Venus, you know? So that's my Venus is Libra. So it would fall in line with here. If I was out of the regular sun sign, which is out of my ego, your sun sign is always your ego. Your moon sign is how you relate to other people and you know, how you communicate, how you can understand other people. So, you know, if you're wanting to see how you need to, uh, um, get along better with other people or communicate better or, or if there's misunderstandings, you check your moon. Okay. Um, or the things that are hidden. Okay. All right. That's all I got for you. Um, again, if you like this video, please hit the like, subscribe down below and I'll see you on the next video. And thank you guys so much. Stay weird. Bye.